In this session, we will analyze the user interface of SpaceClaim so that you can get more familiar with the tool before we really get into the details of solid modeling. Let's start from the top. What you can see here is the list of all the menus that are available. The ribbon menu lists all the options relative to the menu selected. For example, the design menu includes different features like Orient to change the view of the object and tools to move it around the screen, or Sketch to draw different shapes to build the model, and so on. Let's not go into too much detail on this for now, and let's explore space claim by drawing something. In the main window, you can see a grid. We are currently in sketching mode, and that is our sketching grid, where we can start drawing our geometry. The view is isometric, so for convenience, let's set a plan view by clicking the button here. Or here. Notice that when we are in the sketch mode, we have these four buttons in the main window. They let us return to 3D, select a new sketch plane, move the grid, and set the plan view. Now, select the sketch rectangle tool over here and simply click on the grid. Drag the mouse and click again. Any size rectangle is good for now. Let's now go back to 3D mode or the 3D view. Click here to do that. Let's explore how we can navigate in the model space. Pressing the middle mouse button and moving the mouse rotates the model. If you hold shift, and click the middle mouse button. You can zoom in or out by moving the mouse up or down. If you press the middle mouse button and hold control, you can move or pan around the model. The same operations can be performed using the left mouse button after selecting the respective option in the Orient menu or in the bottom right corner of the screen. On the left side of the window, you can locate the structure tree. This is a list that shows the structure of your model. It's useful when you have many parts to handle. The rectangle we created is 2D, so the icon shows that we have a surface for this model. Now, as you may have noticed, the pull tool has been activated since we moved to the 3D mode. This option can really work some magic. Click on the body and drag the mouse up. Suddenly, we have a 3D body out of thin air. If you click on any other side and move the mouse, you can see that you can either remove or add material to the body. You can also notice that now that the body is 3D, we have a solid in the structure tree on the left that replaced the previous surface. One possible way to orient the model is to use the predefined views on the orient panel. You can simply click one of them to change the view. Also, you can directly click on the axis of the navigation tool in the main window to quickly change the orientation of the model. You can rotate the plane view by clicking and dragging the circle surrounding the navigation tool. Don't worry, there's no best way for viewing the model. Every user has their own preference. Now let's use the select tool. If you click once on the body, you can select the face or the edge. Clicking three times will select the entire body. You can also use the box select tool to select all the parts that fit completely inside the box. Click and drag the mouse from left to right. Pressing the letter O on the keyboard will open a quick selection type menu. The lasso tool will allow you to draw an outline to select items and the paint selection mode will allow you to mark all of the parts you want to select also by clicking and dragging the mouse. Select the top face of the object and click on the Sketch Circle tool. Press the letter V to activate the plan view and sketch a circle in the center of the grid. Then click Pull. This brings you back to 3D mode. Rotate the model, then select the circle and pull up to create a cylinder or down to create a hole in the geometry. Pretty easy, right? Now, let's explore the Move tool. As the name suggests, we can move the body around with it. We don't simply change the view, but we change the location and the orientation of the body in the model space. Select the Move tool and then the body by clicking it three times. You can see many arrows appearing. 
The straight ones control the linear motion along the three axes. Simply click on the arrows and pull to test this. The three curved arrows allow us to rotate the model around the three axes. The move tool can also be used to modify the geometry by selecting only a part of it. For example, the top surface. Rotate it and we now have a wedge. If you don't like the result of the last operation, you can undo. Click here to return to the previous step. Now click and drag the center of the move tool. Drag it to one of the edges and release the left mouse button. Rotate the face about that edge. You can see that the move operation uses the new location as the fulcrum. Last, let's explore the most important secret. When you're unsure on how to use a feature or you want to explore what that feature does, hover the mouse over that feature and press F1 to access the guide for that option. For some features, you can also press F3 to watch a tutorial video. Even experts need to use the help from time to time. This concludes the tutorial on the user interface in SpaceClaim.